Do you suffer from anxiety? Scans have shown in the anxious brain there is overactivity in a network called the default mode network. When this network is overactive, it ends up bombarding the cortex, the thinking part of your brain, where your mind resides, with persistent, anxious, worrying thoughts and feelings. In this video, I'll introduce you to how the default mode network works, but then more importantly, what you can do to dampen down that overactivity to then combat your anxiety. So the first primary component of the default mode network is the amygdala. The amygdala acts like a burglar alarm scanning the environment for potential threats and danger. In fact, brain scans have shown that in the anxious brain, the amygdala may be physically enlarged and is certainly hyperactive. Once triggered, the amygdala asks the hippocampus. The hippocampus is like the memory banks of the brain. It asks the hippocampus if it has any additional memories and related experiences that are related to what the amygdala thinks it's detecting. And unfortunately, in the anxious brain, the hippocampus is very likely to have all sorts of memories of past traumas, including previous experience of anxiety that will be added to this feeling. Between the two of them, they pass this information up to a processing center, the posterior cingulate cortex, which then relays this distressing thoughts and feelings into the cortex, the thinking part of the brain or the mind. To give you that in a, a more sort of a descriptive way, it looks like this. The amygdala becomes triggered, often inappropriately, uh, by the perception of threat and danger. And it creates feelings of sort of scary, unpleasant feelings. It checks the hippocampus, which is then going to unfortunately supply memories of distressing and scary experiences. And then this all gets passed into the posterior cingulate cortex. Thrown forward, your cortex is now being bombarded excessively with persistent, anxious, distressing thoughts and feelings. In other words, you have anxiety. Now, the good news is that the default mode network doesn't sit on its own. It has a counterbalancing network called, I'll, I'll put it up versus, the TPN or task positive network. And that by growing and strengthening the task positive network, you can train your brain to dampen down the overactivity in the default mode network and counteract anxiety. The important thing to understand is that the default mode network and the task positive network oppose each other. So when, be when one becomes activated, the other is deactivated. To start with, you have overactivity in your default mode network, keeping your task positive network switched off in a sense. Or, and you could say you've got a weak ta task positive network. What you can do to overcome anxiety is to grow and strengthen the individual components of the task positive network to get it stronger so that it then can switch off when it's appropriate the default mode network like in a healthy person's brain. In the next video, I'm going to show you the individual components that we know from brain scans of the task positive network and how you can engage those with particular mental activities to string them together into a brain training exercise and strengthen the, uh, the whole circuit of the task positive network as a way of combating your anxiety. I want to go back to the previous diagram and just add a little bit more here. In addition to switching off overall activity in the default mode network, we can also go into individual components and change those. You can shrink the physical size of the amygdala uh, with brain training. You can uh, uh, use psychotherapy techniques to change the software that's running the amygdala so it is less triggered. There are psychotherapy, hypnotherapy and other techniques you can use to resurface and then reprogram and reconsolidate memories so that the next time you access those traumatic memories, they are less likely to trigger or less triggering of stress physiology in your system. So we can change memories, 
programming, we can train uh, the cortex to be stronger, literally physically stronger, to resist, and be more resilient against stress. And we can also change some of the soft, the, the psychology, I guess psycho software if you want, through cognitive techniques, the thinking processes in the cortex to help your brain to be able to uh, overcome anxiety more quickly. So in summary, the takeaway points from this introductory video are, the default mode network is overactive in the anxious brain. The default mode network has a counterbalancing network called the task positive network. And we can grow and strengthen the task positive network as a means, to, as a way to combat anxiety. We can also work on, with other techniques, in the individual components of the default mode network and, and dampen them down the amygdala, the cortex, which we strengthen, and the hippocampus. This is part of a series of videos I'm doing to illustrate the revolutionary new technique for overcoming anxiety, which is to stimulate self-directed neuroplastic change to rewire the anxious brain. I hope I can help show you how this is possible. Now, to see more in this series, please subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos. And a really good idea is to click on the notifications bell. Then as I make the videos, you'll get an update. And uh, you can find a lot more uh, reading material and also uh, see subsequent uh, meditation classes that I'll be teaching by visiting my website. So do understand, anxiety is treatable. It feels like you can't treat it. You may think that we don't understand what it is, but we now know quite a lot about it. I hope this helps you. Bye for now.